On this Super Bowl Sunday, WDRB's Gilbert Corsi brings us the story of a manual high school student who focused on football after the unimaginable. Howie Gant is a standout in Manual High School's class of 2023. He's a phenomenal athlete. And also part of another class. I was heading to track practice that day. It was around 2, 3 o'clock, I think. A survivor. My mom said, get down. Of gun violence. And as we were getting down, then more bullets started coming. The class where the cost of attendance it's like boom, 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 is paid in blood. And fear. Sometimes they're waking me up out of my sleep. You still hear the shots? Yeah. We first met this family in March 2021. They pulled right up. They had on ski masks. Days after Lanita Gant's car was ambushed at a stoplight, broad daylight, shattered glass, more bullet holes than she could count. Standing back looking at my car, I thought. Am I alive? Oh, they just wore my door out. And I was so angry. Her daughter Layla was grazed eight times in the legs. Her son Howie shot in the back. This could have been terrible. This could have been paralyzed terrible. It was right there. Miraculously, all were okay. Released from the hospital the same day. They also told me that like, if I didn't work out a lot, like the muscles in my back is like what kind of stopped it. So it kind of made me smile and made me feel better. For the Gants, the doctor's words were unforgettable. And so were those of a witness who drove off at the scene right behind the shooter. Wrong car. At the time of the crime, LMPD confirmed this family was not a target. Innocent victims in this attack. Two years later, no arrests. He's in that class. Growing in Louisville by the day. Over 500 people were shot the same year as Howie Gant, close to 200 killed, many teens. And more than half of those cases remain unsolved. That's why when these incidents happen to families, it is very important to follow up immediately with therapy. They both had private therapists that worked with them for eight weeks. Gant did not sit in rage, did not seek revenge did not forward that cycle of violence. Coming back that junior year, uh, I knew it was gonna be a tough task, just like making sure my mental was right. Instead. I've been playing football my whole life. He focused on the field. Five ten safety with the four five forty put up forty tackles this season. He was one man that was so, so under recruited, and I worked tirelessly and, and lost sleep at night to ensure that he got him something. You know, because I know what his passion and his dream was and his end goal was, and that's what that was to go play college football. Wednesday. Power game to third. How we get signed to play football at Lindsey Wilson College. He's in that class, freshman 2023. Let's go! Full ride, athletic scholarship. Oh, so proud. I just have to just hold myself together. So every kid that's involved in shootings doesn't have to take that path. Like, find your passion, work through, and not work out in the street. How we get is a standout. Shot in the back. What's Lindsey Wilson getting and how he can't? They're getting a leader. A class act. With photographer Dominic Furman, Gilbert Corsi, WDRB News. Continue this story online at WDRB.com with an interview with the Lindsey Wilson coach on the traits that led him to recruit Gant and the nonprofit organization the family started for victims of gun violence.